Hello and welcome to the channel with no catchphrase. Nice to see you, to see you! Now I recently made a video about my uh, Quadlock wireless charger. Fantastic bit of kit, you know, no more cables around here. In fact, look at that, it's, it's very neat and lovely. But, um, well, I, I had a problem after I'd obviously made the video. Um, out on my first real proper ride and um, when I got to my destination, my phone was nearly flat. I took off the, the phone to have a look. Well, did I, did I forget to turn it on? You know, there's a button under there, but no, it was on. But it was flashing blue. I quickly googled the um, the code and that was overheating. I was like, oh, what? Overheating? Um, order for, I turned it back off, uh, you know, I rode back home. My phone didn't even get all the way home before it was dead. So it's not working. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Well, what I did then is I've got a, the Speed Triple 1200 RS has got a DIN socket down on the right side of the uh, engine. Um, stupid place to put it because it gets hot. Really, for trying, what the hell? Uh, anyway, um, I put in a USB DIN adapter and I powered the uh, wireless charger off of that and I went for a ride, quite a long ride. Absolutely perfect, brilliant. Therefore, there's only one thing left and that was the cheap Chinese Amazon 10 quid special that I had attached to my battery. So, thinking I've got to get a decent, you know, I really need a decent um, adapter then. It's going to guarantee power because that thing was probably throwing out all kinds of wobbly power. <laughs> Not quite sure. Um, and Quadlock do a smart USB adapter with surge control and everything. Like, so it seems really freaking amazing. So, I ordered that. Um, you know, for the primary reason of, of a decent power to, to, to this, to see if it sorts that problem of it overcharging and therefore not working. And so what's going to happen now is you're going to watch the unboxing bit and me fitting it. And don't worry, it's not too long. And then we'll get out again, or I'll come back in again, after about, let's say about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, and I'll let you know if it worked and maybe a couple of other updates because well it's also a smart charger and it's supposed to do smart things like turn itself off um, but we'll get to that right so see you in about 45 minutes is your quite a lot of excellent packaging for those about to lock, we salute you. <laughs> nice. That's me. Trying to make it all nice and neat. It didn't work. Right. Okay. In auto mode, the device will remain off after the engine has been shut off. So, of course, we have to see what my speed triple voltage drops to. When the engine's off to see if that function will be of use if not i'll just turn it off in the normal way okay so we have cable ties a rubber waterproof grommety thing in there here's the actual charger so we have off on auto and of course to connect to the battery. So hopefully that is going to give a good constant power. It's got surge protection as well. And hopefully this will work just as well as this, but directly from the battery. And um, I can throw in the bin the Chinese special from Amazon.
So now if I put it on auto, in theory, it should stay off. If it drops below 12.7 volts. But my battery is at 13 something. So the auto doesn't work for this. Doesn't matter. It's just a little button under there. <laughs> no problem. So 47 minutes later, and um, it's still charging. So problem solved. But I've now got a bone to pick with you, Quadlock. Smart charger, my <gasps> doesn't work with lithium batteries. So I'm going to have to keep this in the on position and use the button there. Now, whilst I bought it for the quality of the of the connector, what if I'd have bought it because I wanted it to do the smart thing it says on the box? Well, it does because lithium batteries run at about 13.1 volts, and this is uh, kicking at 13.2. And in Quadlock's defence, I went back onto their website. After reading on Google a whole load of people complaining about the same thing, um, some over two, two to three years ago, so it's been going on for a while, yeah, people have known for a while, or people have been discovering the problem for a while. I read the description in the small print, kind of that greyed out little bit at the bottom. Please note, please note that uh, it is not recommended, uh, or lithium batteries may cause um, uh, issues with the smart thing. It is to not run your battery flat, please keep it on the on position. So they could have made that a little bit bigger. Um, of course, they've got the get out drive free card and maybe I should have read a lot more into it. But yeah, so it's doing what, it's, what I bought it for. It's running the power, it's not overheating, it's absolutely brilliant. I've got no worries about my phone going flat and there's nothing wrong with the, the wireless charger itself. More and more bikes have lithium batteries nowadays so they should really be selling a lithium option. Please give us that extra volt. Please sir, I want some more. That we so desperately need. <laughs> anyway, that's everything. The, um, it works. I'm not gonna run out of power anymore. I haven't got a dodgy head. I'm very, very, very happy. And I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.